the steam engine for its type is the fastest land vehicle. And the steam team are the power behind freight and express services that make up the Northwestern Railway. This is Northwestern Adventures. While the island of Soder was facing thick fogs and flash floods, the England Heritage Railway, which ran for 11 miles along the border between East Sussex and West Sussex, England was doing great. Steam hauled trains are operated between Sheffield Park, with two intermediate stations at Horsted Canes and Kingscote and then into East Grinstead. The line had been running strong since 1935 when only Croven worked on the line. Then Winston and Red Max arrived in 1945. Neil, Colin, Lily, Stafford and Wendell all arrived at the same time in 1952. Which is when this story takes place. You see, Colin and Lily never got over the loss of Adam eleven short years before. Their sadness turned to anger. They blamed Adam's death on one thing. And it wasn't on the wartime conditions. They blamed Adam's death on Stafford. It was Stafford who Adam died to save. After the three arrived on the EHR, Colin and Lily began bullying Stafford. It got really bad one day in the spring of 1952. Croven was at the main station when he saw everything. Colin and Lily were speaking to Stafford. Why did you have to torment us here as well? We thought that we'd have a new beginning here but you had to show up and make our lives even worse. It's because of you that Adam's gone. How is it my fault? Adam died trying to save you during an air raid when you broke down. That doesn't mean that it's my fault. He probably did that so he wouldn't have to deal with you two sorry excuses for friends. I can't say I blame him. If I lived with two engines always accusing me of stuff I didn't do for over 70 years, I'd want to be dead too. Why you little? Stupid electric engines. Let's go Colin. Gladly. Colin and Lily left Stafford in a pit of coal. Croven decided to help Stafford and soon got him back on the rails. That night the two engines talked in the sheds. Why would Colin and Lily do that? I thought they were nice engines. They must still be upset over Adam's death. But that was almost 11 years ago. Some people take longer to move on than others. When my friend Alfred went insane. You mean the engine who wants to destroy all engines? He was your friend? Alfred wasn't always this way. We both were built in the same year, 1913. We both only had numbers back then. I was 87,546 and he was 98,462. Things were very different back then. He was the nicest engine on the entire railway. In fact, Many of the engines who lived on our old line would later work on Soder like Wendell and Lady. But things changed during the war. They didn't have enough soldiers so they began drafting engines. Several engines from my old line were drafted. Most notably me, Alfred and a sterling single named Brenda. The war went on for four long years. They were the longest in my entire life. Alfred and Brenda had a great relationship and I was proud of both of them. But things changed towards the end of the war. Either 1917 or 1918. We ended up getting separated. Alfred and Brenda went one way and I went the other. Brenda never made it back. What happened to her? Nobody knows except Alfred and he never wanted to talk about it. I respected his decision. Things could not go back to normal after the war. Alfred really began changing by the end of the 1910s. He became meaner and meaner by the day. He got jealous of any engine easily and he was more competitive than the others. Always bragging about how many coaches he could take on one journey. 
it kept going on until the two of us got sold in 1922 to the NWR along with Eagle. There was a big welcome party the day we came. All the engines showed up. Me and Eagle became friends with all the engines. Alfred's only soda friend was me. When Gordon arrived in 1923, Alfred went completely insane. January 23, 1924 was the end of Alfred. I'm pretty sure you know the rest of the story. Stafford had never heard a greater story before in his life. But at the opposite side of the EHR, Colin and Lily got a surprising visit. They were both sleeping when a bright flash lit up the sheds. It woke up the two engines. They opened their eyes to see Adam's ghost. Adam? Is that you? It is me. Talking to you two from the afterlife. What's it like in the afterlife? It's actually pretty peaceful. Everyone's here. Clive, Matthew, Lady, Ford, Eagle One. Timothy. No no. He's not there. Anyway, I came here to tell you that you shouldn't blame Stafford for my death. It was my choice to risk my life to save him. I have to go now. Who knows, maybe we will see each other again. Goodbye Colin and Lily. Hey Stafford. What terrible things do you two want to do to me now? We're actually here to say sorry for hating on you for all these years. It's not your fault that Adam died. Does this mean that we're friends? No. Best friends. <laughs>